Hello, everyone, and welcome to 100 Yards of Football Sports Talk Radio. I'm your host, Logan Landers, and joining me to talk about the Marshall Thundering Herd is my guy, my co-host for the Unscripted Sports Podcast, and my partner in crime, Jay McLaughlin. What's up, man? Hey, doing well, doing well, and I uh, always love to talk football with you, and uh, yeah, we got Marshall the Thundering Herd today. Yeah. So. Should be an interesting uh, conversation about these guys. Yeah, it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a good topic, and it's gonna be a good show. I know that for sure. If you guys enjoy this content, if you enjoy our team previews, uh, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We go live every single week on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We also have a podcast as well. We go check that out anywhere you listen to your podcast, like Spotify, Apple, Audible, Google Home, anything like that. We are available. We upload every single day. Whether it's great team previews, legends interviews, player profiles for guys who've just gotten drafted, or we also go back in time and do some great history specials as well. So please go check that out. All right, Jay, let's do it. The Thunder and Herd, out of Marshall. What do you like about this team, man? How do you think they're going to perform in 2021? Yeah, well, I like the quarterback, Grant Wells. <clears throat> he's a pre, you know, he's a solid uh, passer who can move the ball around. So I like the fact that they have a good quarterback, or at least, you know, good field general. I like the fact they got nine starters that are expected back. They did fail to get 270 yards in the last three games. So they, they, the first seven games have started off very well, and then they it crashed on the last three games. So obviously they have to work on finishing the season strong, like they start the season. So that that's probably one of the big things they need to work on. But I mean, when you got a good passer and you got most of your guys coming back, I mean that's 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 not a bad way to start off the season. Yeah, not not at all, my man. You're you're not wrong. And uh, also, you know, they have a brand new coach, Charles Huff, who we actually had an interview with our guy Kevin the Bull Jones. Interviewed him a few months ago, so please go check that out um, on our on our show. So we were able to talk with uh, new coach Coach Huff for about thirty minutes or so. He gracious to have his time, have him on the show, and talk about the upcoming season. So definitely go check that out. And you can pair it with this video as well, see how we think the season's going to be. But I, I think I'm with you, man. I like the quarterback play from Marshall. They had a good season last year, and then it all just kind of came crashing down to a halt at the end. But coming into this year, you get Huff, who's a you know great mind, came over from Alabama, and now he's going to take over the duties as a head coach at Marshall. I mean, there's a lot of expectations, and I think that Marshall, who is a offensive powerhouse, they averaged – around 390 yards, and, uh, you know, they had about th 29, 30 points a game last year. You have nine starters coming back. You have a good quarterback with Grant Wells. So I think that this offense, I'm not worried about it one bit. I think this offense is going to be running through teams. They're going to be putting up a lot of points, a lot of yards, and I think they're going to be fine. Uh, the offensive front as well was fourth in the nation in the fewest tackles for losses. And they only allowed about one sack a game. So that's all you can ask for for the big guys up front, protecting right. the quarterback, giving holes for your running back. You get three starters back, but you did lose Tarek Adams. Or uh, Sorry, but yeah, Tarek Adams, who is gone now. And uh, so I think that Billy Ross also out of North Carolina, who's a good transfer, he's going to help out. And I think this team's going to be fine. Um, as for the rushing, we'll see how it goes. Um, you do have Brendan Knox. Or, so you, so you, do, you don't have Brennan Knox. He left. But I think you have Sheldon Evans, who's a good around 200-pound back, ran for around 330 yards last year. You also have Knowledge McDaniel, heck of a name, uh, who's also going to be trying to get a bigger role as well. He's a power back. He got about six yards of carry. So I think the offense is going to be set this year, Jay. I'm not worried about this Thunder and Herd offense one bit. I think they're going to be just fine. And I think they're going to put up a lot of points. And it's going to be a lot of fun if you watch them live. Because like you said, we're getting fans back this year. So that's all you can ask for. You got fans in the stadium watching this team, cheering them on. And uh, I think this is going to be a fun team to watch. But let's move over to the defensive side of the ball. So you get a new defensive coordinator with Lance Guidry. What do you think that they're going to be doing on D this year? Yeah, so they were second in the nation for allowing 279 yards a game. They were number one in scoring defense for 13 points a game. Mm. So they they have they have a their defense is fine. Honestly, there's, there's not really, they, they got a pretty solid defense. Um, on their defensive line, they were turned around. They they uh, they were turned 270 pound tackle Jamal Edwards. Um, he's a rock against the run, so he can stuff up that middle. 
So that's going to be hard to run on that guy. And as well as uh, their linebackers, uh, Eli Neal, who's 240 pounds. He's a big hitter who works in the middle. Um, you got 75 tackles, five tackles for loss. And then, of course, you got a uh, Abraham, Abraham Boplan on the outside. So I think you have a good front, and I think you have decent linebackers. You can obviously stop the run. The secondary did not generate a lot of picks, which is kind of um, where I think they might struggle a little bit is in their secondary or passing. Mm -hmm. But – at the same time, I do think that this team is going to be very well – or is going to do very well on the defensive side of the ball. And if that offense can just keep them off the field as much as possible to keep them rejuvenated, yeah, I think this team has a very good chance to be successful. I play as good successful football. Yeah, I'm with you. And they do have a few holes to fill on defense. Like you said, they did a tremendous job last year. But you did lose Tavante Beckett, who left, and you also lost Derek Pitts. So I think that you are going to lose two guys who had a very good role last year. Who, but I think that they have the team to – they have guys who can step up and who can fill those roles, you know, pretty much evenly as much as those two guys did who were, who left the program. So I think that I'm with you, man. This Marshall team is dangerous on offense and on defense. I mean, there's not much more you can ask for out of this team. And I think that they're going to have a good season also. I think St or Stephen Gilmore is going to have a good season, the cornerback who's a junior. I think he's going to look good. He's 5'11", 175 pounds. People might say he's a little bit undersized, Jay. But we have a guy on the show who is also known as undersized and uh, a little bit low in the weight with Bobby Butler. And yeah, he had a great career in the NFL, played with the Falcons for a very long time, first-round draft pick. So just because the intangibles might, might not be undersized, the height and the weight don't mean you can't play the game. So I think he's going to be fine at the cornerback position this year. And I think that – Overall, I'm expecting Marshall to have a tremendous season. But, Jay, let's get into the schedule and let's see who they're facing this year. I mean, now I'm looking here. I see a few teams that we've talked about in the program. I've seen uh, Middle Tennessee, the Blue Raiders. I see also I see Florida Atlantic, the Owls over there. I see a few other teams. But other than that, Jay, I, I think that this team is going to be running through this this their schedule and getting to, the, uh, getting to a, a Conference USA Championship potentially. What do you think? Yeah, um, when I was looking at their schedule, I look, obviously Middle Tennessee uh, stands out to me. FIU stands out to me. Uh, Charlotte uh, beat beat them mm -hmm. last year, so I don't know how well Charlotte's doing this year. So I don't know if that uh, – for me, I got a question mark by Charlotte and I got a question mark by East Carolina. But those are probably – so out of the four games, two of them are really the most uh, – Middle Tennessee and FIU are the ones that stick out the most. But, yeah, I, I think this team is going to do very well. I think they're going to run through their division and uh, – I think they have a bowl game at some level. Yeah, I'm definitely expecting them to have a good year. I think they're going to get, you know, double digit wins. I believe they they might get a loss or two here or there, but other than that, this team, I I'm with Jay. This is going to be a team that's going to be in a bowl a bowl game at least. They might be fighting for the for their for their conference championship. You never know. But this is going to be a good team. I I think they're going to put a lot of points. Their defense is going to be stout, and I think that this is going to be a great year if you're a Thundering Herd fan. Well, if you guys have enjoyed this team preview for the Marshall Thundering Herd, thank you guys so much for watching. Whether you're watching us on Facebook, YouTube, or on Twitch, we broadcast each and every week with a bunch of videos, whether it's team previews, legend interviews, uh, player profiles, guys who were you know amazing players back in college or in the NFL. Our guy, Vincent Turner, who does these amazing history specials where you can learn about some of the legends of football. Please go check that out. Also, please uh, go check out our amazing team, man. We put up a lot of great content, whether it's, you know, like I said, with the team previews, the legends interviews with our amazing team with Mr. Football, Vince Turner, the guy who who uh, drives the car, who rides the ship. You name it, he does it, man. He's the he's the leading force for our team. Um, also, the, cat, the other cast and crew, our amazing other producer, Jeremiah Long, uh, Bobby Butler, former FSU Seminole and Atlanta Falcon, great. And, of course, probably, you know, we always like to call him the best, call, the best high school coach in the state of Georgia, Kevin the Bull Jones. Go check us out, man. We got a lot of great content. And also, hey, Jay, man, you've been killing it on these Wednesdays, man. Thank you so much, man, for coming yeah. on and doing these great team previews, man. Well, if you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go over to our podcast. Leave us a review if you'd like. We upload every single day, so please go check that out. But, hey, you guys have a tremendous weekend. Have a, Hey, go get a barbecue if the weather's nice and just have a good weekend. Everyone be safe. And we are 100 yards of football, and we will talk to you guys uh, a little bit later on. And, guys, be safe, and uh, we'll see you guys later.